Hello, everybody, and looks like I just found Goldana's That's house. My sister's house. I'm almost sure of it. This is yes, this is the right address. She could be inside. Could we go and see? Yes, let's do that. Will she even know who I am? Does she even know I exist? My sister. That sounds very strange. Sister. Sister. <laughs> hmm. Oh, now I'm babbling. Maybe we should go. Let's go. Let, let's just go. As an in inside or away? I think we're going in. Okay, so this could be Alistair's half sister. I, I will tell you right now. I've never done this, but I know uh, what happens if you do. Hello. Hey, you have linens to wash. I charge three bits on a bundle. You won't find better. And don't trust what that Natalia woman tells you either. She's foreign and she'll rob you blind. I'm not here to have any wash done. <laughs> uh, my name's Alistair. I'm... Well, this may sound sort of strange, but... Are you called Dana? If so, I suppose I'm your brother. My what? I am Goldana, yes. How do you know my name? What kind of tomfoolery are you folk up to? He's telling the truth. Listen to him. Look, our mother, she worked as a servant in Redcliffe Castle a long time ago before she died. Do you know about that? She... You! I knew it! They told me you was dead! They told me the babe was dead along with mother, but I knew they was lying. They told you I was dead? Who? Who told you that? Them's at the castle. I told them the babe was the king's and they said he was dead. Gave me a coin to shut my mouth and sent me on my way. I knew it. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The babe didn't die. I'm him. I'm your brother. <sighs> For all the good it does me. You killed mother, you did. And I've had to scrape by all this time. That coin didn't last long, and when I went back, they ran me off. That's hardly Alistair's fault, was it? And who in the Maker's name are you? Some dwarf carrying all his riches, I expect? Hey, don't speak to him that way. He's my friend. And a Grey Warden, just like me. Oh, I see. A prince and a Grey Warden, too. Well, who am I to think poorly of someone so high and mighty compared to me? I don't know you, boy. Your royal father forced himself on my mother and took her away from me. And what do I got to show for it? Nothing. They tricked me good. I should have told everyone. I got five mouths to feed. And unless you can help with that, I got less than no use for you. Wow, she's I, really amazing. I, I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Goldana, Alistair came here hoping to find his family. Well, so he's found it. I'm his sister. But what are you to me, boy, except the one who took my mother away, hmm? You think I wished her dead? I never wanted that. I didn't have the life you think I did, Goldana. <sighs> I suppose not. A bastard is still a bastard, isn't he? But, brother or no, I've got five mouths to feed and no time to spare until they are. And let me promise you this, Goldana. I'll do whatever I can, speak to whomever I have to, to ensure you and your children are taken care of. Hmm, that sounds all well and fine. But you'll have to forgive me if I don't exactly hold my breath. You have my promise. I can't give you more than that. I... Let's go. I want to go. Goodbye, I want to go. <laughs> okay. So what can we do to help her? Let's see what Alistair says. If the loading screen works. Huh. Well, that wasn't exactly the response we were expecting from her. I was kind of expecting her to. I don't really know. What was I expecting? Well, that was... Not what I expected, to put it lightly. I lived up to my promise, I suppose, but this is the family I've been wondering about all my life? I can't believe it. I, I guess I was expecting her to accept me without question. Isn't that what family is supposed to do? I, I feel like a complete idiot. I don't know what to say. Sorry it turned out like this. 
Yes, I'm sorry too. I guess I should have known better. Let's just go. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Okay. Well, that completed that quest, actually. So, that was all for his side quest. And now the other thing I wanted to do in Dinner Room before we start is go talk to Wade. I meant to do this before uh, my Dwarven chapter, but that one drug out for way too long anyways. So let's go see what Wade has to say. You simply must let me make you that scale armor, friend. You right. Are. Right. Well, scale armor. Back. You looking for fine armor? I'm here about Drake scales. Of course. He's back! He's back! Have you reconsidered? I can make such fine armor with your scales. How much will it cost? Cost? I should be paying you, friend, for the right. No, the privilege. Pay him? No, way, no. We'll charge you. I'll hear nothing of that, Heron. This is my shop, and working on Drake scales won't cost a bloody Elysian penny. Will it take long to make? It will take however long it takes. You don't rush a masterpiece, my good man. Yes, yes, that's right. It could take months, years even. You should just leave. It won't take that long, Heron. Unless... Unless I did some inlays of... Oh, I know. Yes, it <laughs> wouldn't be complete without the uh, inlays. Of course, the customer would have to agree... I'll pay ten sovereigns extra. Make it good and quickly. Excellent. You won't regret it. Think of the possibilities, Heron. Think of it. I'm trying to stop. <laughs> so, he's pretty amazing. And so is Wade. I like both of them. So let's see. I was going to check out the quest. What did it just do? Dinnerim, dragon scale armor. So may take some time though. I believe that all you have to do is leave this uh leave dinner room and come back. But I don't know I don't know for sure. I'm gonna try just walking outside and walking back in. That never works. On it. But I'm gonna see if it does now. That would be weird if it did. You're here about your order. I've barely even begun and you're pestering me. Go oh, get back yeah. to work. Come to see our fine goods before they sell out? Farewell. Come again. Okay, so it will take a little while, but we'll be back here in just a little Good bit. Job. But what we have to do now is go find... Uh, go talk to Arl Eamon and get ready for the lands meet. What's our time at? Oh, we're doing pretty well. We can probably make it back to Arl Eamon before this is over. Now, is there anything else in this place that I wanted to do. We got in verses. Yeah, there are a few things that I could do here, but it's really not worth it, so. I mean, it would be worth it, but it would take time that I don't want to spend in this chapter doing. So, let's go back here and go to Redcliffe Castle really quick. And we'll see if what uh, R. Lehman has to say about this, and I'm really hoping that we don't get into a fight on the way back, which we probably will. But I think that there's only one fight every travel from a certain area to another one, or at certain points of the game, so like, this might be a cutscene. I don't know. But this is definitely going to be a fight, because we definitely didn't stop at the uh, Dalish outpost, or the Dalish... Dalish camp. Woohoo. Who's gonna try to kill us? Oh! Okay, it's the merchant. You have coins, stranger? The doors are more closed off. Old Tegra. Fine sure, weapon sure, and sure. Dwarven made. Let's see that discount. Okay, let's see what he has to sell. He's got some. Okay, items. Nothing amazing. Silver Sword of Mercy. 
Ah. Oh wait. Shoes. Boots. Boots. Who was telling me about boots? I was just... Oh, darn. I know one of my guys was telling me about boots. I was talking to them. Might have actually been, uh... Might have been Zevran. No, I want to leave. Okay, there you go. So, it looks like we're going to get there and just in time to uh, cut it off for the time limit. So, I will cut it here so you don't have to sit through the load screen, and I will see you guys in the next part. Thanks for watching.